Hey, howdy, hey everybody, Suru here. Welcome back to the channel. Man, it feels like Dreamlight Valley came out so long ago, but also not too long ago at the same time. But whether it feels that way or not, one thing I do know is it feels like forever since we've actually been able to get any sort of teasers or information on characters like Cinderella, Wreck-It Ralph, and also just the whole vibe of the game when it did first came out. Now, I am going to take a look at the trailer today, and it's this game is going on almost two years old already. I mean, it came out in September of 2022, so we're coming up on the two-year mark, but most of the characters and actually some of the items and houses that we've seen in the announcement trailer are still not in the game. So today, I want to revisit that trailer and just see what characters were missing out what we can expect maybe they are canceled like maybe they canceled some of these characters and i'm also curious because i remember there being some houses in the trailer that we thought was like gaston's house but then it his house was different so did they change it I don't know let's dive right into it today we haven't had any new like actual news on the update at least as of yet so hopefully with the mulan update coming soon we're going to get more and more teasers throughout this week and i don't know if the trailer's going to or the update's going to drop this wednesday or next wednesday but i'm hoping we get some more information soon because it looks great until now let's look ahead to i'm hoping these characters come at the end of the year as always, if you guys do enjoy any of my content, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any theories or you have a character you want to come to the game, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And let's jump right into it. All right, so here we go. The trailer starts off just like you would expect. Now, they did share that uh, some of these changes, some of the stuff in the trailer could eventually change throughout, you know, the development. But right here in the second frame of the shot, we did end up getting our first look. Now, this game released in September of 2022. This trailer came out in April of 2022. So quite, it's quite a few months before the game actually dropped. One main call out for this one, obviously, is we knew Rapunzel was coming to the game. This is what her tower had looked like. Her tower actually looks differently here than what we got in the game. It almost looks like it's like a shorter and a, and it also has like all this greenery and stuff on the side. It just looks a little bit different. And then they have like the raccoon over here in the Glade of Trust. And then there's a little turtle here. So I don't know if that was just some marketing for like you know the game to make it seem like there's a variety in you know single biomes or what that was about or maybe it was a last minute change to put them exclusively in like specific biomes but yeah back before the game released we thought that we were going to have multiple companions just out here out in you know a biome like we have the glade of trust right here let's take a look and see what else so in this shot i don't see anything different here we did find out that buzz lightyear was coming to the game at some point Ursula, of course. Kristoff. Doesn't look like anything is different here. Um, Yeah, not seeing anything different on this shot either. Let's see. And then they're just showing the story about the whole Forgotten and pretty much how that's going to start off. Poor little Scrooge. And then enter our character. Let's go. Now, right here, you could also see Rapunzel's tower again. And then I don't see anything else in this shot. There, Oh, that's Minnie's house back there. Look at the little bunnies. And then they're showing off the different biomes. Skull Rock, we still... Two years later, we've still not been able to go inside Skull Rock. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have the fox foxes over on this side. Still three mining nodes. This gem... This was like a blue gem right here. Is this in the game? Because it looks like it's over here in like maybe the meadow or something like that. Did we ever get anything like this in the game? The, the little blue gem? Like, does it look like this in the rock? I can't remember. I'll have to see it in game. Sometimes seeing something in a trailer, it just looks different. Uh, Moana Realm. Some more story. Here we go. How have we still not got our boy Wreck-It Ralph? You know, we waited forever for Belle to come to the game. She came out in like September. And we saw her in the trailer right here reading a book. But we still haven't seen or heard any information on Ralph at all. Which is kind of crazy to think about with how long it actually has been. Because you think if they were showing off a game 
they would have pretty close to immediate plans for it to come out and release. So it's weird that they would put, you know, Ralph in the trailer along with some other characters if they knew that it wasn't going to come out for at least a couple years you think they would have put in you know maybe rapunzel or i mean she was part of the dlc so i could see why they didn't do that but they could have put in some of the other characters that we slowly unlocked later at, uh, later through on like they could have put mulan in here you know they could have shared mulan they could have shared daisy in the trailer Maybe their plans got changed. Maybe they had to do like the whole Ralph update later on and then they had the Daisy update ready. I don't know. And then we have these uh, board, like the edges right here that end. We didn't have that when the game first came out. And actually for like over a year when the game came out and we were like watching this trailer and we were like, wait, hold up. How come we don't have any like boarded pathing in the game? And they showed it off in the trailer like they had it available, but it eventually did come out. So it's nice to come back and see that they are slowly implementing some stuff from the trailer. Now this building over here on the right, what is that? It's got like red brick. Is that, does anybody know what this house could be? Uh, maybe it's a redesign of the apartment building. It's got like the little uh, purple overdraft here hanging off of the door. And I don't know, this building right here, I think we already have, but I'm not too sure about that one. So we're still waiting on Ralph. Here's the big one. We got Timon and Puma right here. That's crazy. I was not expecting those characters to actually be in the game. But there they are. There's our boys, Timon and Puma. And then look at this location. Was this what the Sunlit Plateau was going to look like? They obviously have like a whole mining area right here where you can enter the mines. Here's the little uh, bridge. And then we have uh, Scar's house, but Scar's house is over in this area. I don't think this is part of a realm or anything like that. I think this is a redesign. I think they changed up some stuff. But it's nice to actually see what Timon and Puma are going to look like in game. And I think they're going to be really funny. Now, here's the thing I am most sad about is Elsa's house used to be a standalone thing. Like before we got the game, we thought we were going to be able to like move her house around. And if you look at it, I feel like you should be able to. Like they already had it designed that way. I wonder what made them choose not to do that. And then they instead put it down in the Forest of Valor and kind of merged it with the terrain. So it's stuck there permanently, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You know, it kind of frees up some space. But it would have been cool to be able to move that around as well. I kind of feel like the whole ice biome, the whole snow biome needed to be expanded. It's kind of small. And then we also found out that we were going to end up getting Olaf in here. But her house looks really cool. Let's see. Uh, Woody. We did eventually get Woody. Anything else here? Yeah, there's that building again. I'm not sure what that could be. Uh, Shave Remy on this side. Nothing else. We, had, we saw Stitch over there. Let's see, all this stuff looks to be the same, what you get pretty much at the beginning of the game. Uh, doing some cooking with Remy. Here we go. So this house right here, this little like palace, we have still yet to see that. What character could be living here? Or is this a future like premium house coming to the game? Or is it something they just scrapped all together? Because it looks pretty cool. I mean, we do have a lot of palaces, and it's pretty much set up like the other palaces. It's almost like a reskin. But yeah, this thing over here on the right side, we've still not seen yet. Let's see. What else do we have? Um, We still don't have, like, furniture where you can rotate it, sadly. Hopefully, eventually, we'll have... That'll come in. Now, here's the big one. Uh, we did give an LP. But Cinderella. And not only that, if you look... You could see through the windows, like you could see outside of them. You could see another house, like a player house on this side. But that's not how it is in the game. You cannot see through them. But Cinderella over there, her animation was cute. A uh, Sully, yeah, look, look, look at this. How cool would it be to be able to place these windows and actually be able to see them? Is this an upcoming feature? Are they actually going to enhance this and let us? Or did they just have to scrap it based on like performance with the nintendo switch i kind of feel like they it like at first had plans on that but then i wonder if the hardware with the switch was a little too you know lackluster that they had to scrap that and just make it where it generated whatever was in the room instead uh let's see i don't know if there's anything else really 
Not seeing too much else. I think this is the end of the trailer. Yeah, oh, so this house right here, which we thought was going to be Gaston's house, it has like a little deer with some antlers right here, and it definitely is giving Gaston vibes. I'm still curious if we're going to get this cottage or they scrapped it and changed it into what Gaston's house is now. It looks like it could have been his type of vibes, but yeah, we haven't uh, got that either. And then nothing else in at this shot here, but it's really cool. It's really fun to revisit this. The major callouts is the multiple houses, the characters we still haven't got, and then the windows being able to actually look through them. I think that would be a really cool feature. But I'm really curious what all of you have to say about that trailer. I'm sure it's been a while since a lot of us have watched it, and there's probably a lot of newer players here that didn't even see it to begin with and didn't know. So it may be a surprise that these characters are coming to the game at some point. It's just a matter of when. We have this roadmap mapped out until like, what is it? Probably September for the Tiana update somewhere around there. And then we have the second half of this year, which they're going to release more content, more characters. Could we finally be getting Cinderella, Timon and Puma, Ralph on the second half of this year? I think it's highly possible, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you have the best day ever and I'll see you in the next one.